Hello and welcome to Flippin' Awesome. I'm Mindy XYZ, your factotum expert. And I'm here to help inspire you to inspire others on how to save time, money, the environment, and many other things. You know, with my menagerie of detailed tips, tricks, and how-to videos. So let's get started. Today, uh, we are going to do a glass top table makeover. Now this is a really simple, easy makeover, um, and it can get more complex, and I'll, and I'll give you some other options uh, when, when I say complex, but it actually is pretty, pretty simple. And this will work on any type of glass top table, you know, whether it's a coffee table, end tables, or a dining table. Uh, today we'll be working on my uh, coffee table here, and let's get started. Okay, I am choosing to do my redo using the, I think you pronounce it Gila, Glass Scenes Decorative Window Film. And this is, this is the pattern that I chose. So it's almost like a stained glass look. And I think it's gonna look really awesome when I get it on. Now this comes in like a three by five foot some things that we will want to have ready would be a lint-free cloth, window cleaner, we'll be cleaning our uh, tabletop, spray bottle with water. I just recycled a bottle here that is not Febreze in there, it is water. An X-Acto knife, a utility knife, or some type of really sharp knife. Some type of a card uh, I have a, a Panera bread card right here, uh, but any type of credit card or something that uh, would be flexible would be great to use. I have a squeegee here, and that's awesome to use also. That is not necessary, but it uh, would be nice to use. Now, Gila does recommend using their own film application solution when putting on their uh, film on glass and window. Uh, I've used this prop, uh, product before. <laughs> Having a little problems talking here today. I used this product before on a window and I just used the water, just straight up water. And the film stayed on the window well over a year and it's still there. So water, that's what I will use. You choose, either pay extra for the extra solution or just use water. I used water, it's great, it'll work. So, continuing on. Okay, step one, it's pretty obvious. That's right, let's clean the glass. Step two is we want to roll out our film and get a measurement and make sure the pattern is the way we want it. So, here we go. Stained glass, I just love it. Okay, so as I'm looking at this with the stained glass pattern, I'm kind of looking. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's a, it looks like circles. I want to try and have this as centered as possible. I think that'll look good. I'm also going to, you know, since it, since, this is good lengthwise also. I might just, oh, here we go. I can save a lot of material just by going this, this way possibly. So I got enough. Oh yeah. Yep, I think that'll work. There, and there. Yep. Okay. So after we decide where we want our glass and pattern, or the film pattern to the glass, blah, you kind of get the idea. Um, now before we cut the film, Gila recommends that we have at least one inch of extra material on each side of the glass 
that is not going to be the case for me. It's going to be like right on. There's probably like one eighth of an inch on each side going this way on the table. And that's okay. But if you can, you know, that's what they recommend, at least an extra inch on each side. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I forgot to tell you we need scissors. It'll be easier than using the X-Acto knife on the initial cut. I'm going to get those and cut it, and I'll be right back. I have my film cut to where, where I want it for the size and the pattern that will, I think, look best on my table. We are now going to pull apart. There's like another film against this pattern. So there's like two pieces of things going on here. Now, if you can't get it apart, a little trick here. Grab two pieces of tape. This better work. <laughs> I'm filming. So put a piece of tape on one side, make a little tab so that it doesn't stick to this other one. Make a little tab there. Okay, so now we're going to, Did it? yeah, there we go, it came apart. So we have a clear film and then we have our decorative film. What we want to do now is it recommends, I don't know why I'm shaking it, it's only water, that we spray, I guess it's supposed to help reduce static or something like that, but it recommends it, so that's what we'll do, and it says do it on both sides, alrighty. Now, as we pull the film, we're gonna take the film off. I'm gonna flip this over, actually. So as we're pulling this film off, it says that we should try to keep it as clean as possible. Then we want to spray this also. the underside between the film and our decoration. Decorative, uh, decorative film. Okay, so we'll get that nice and wet. And we are going to flip this over. Now, mind you, we have the table is already wet. It's not wet enough, but you know, I think I really want it, I really want it wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that wet again. Put that over. We'll get this side wet again. Actually, that looks pretty good, but. Okay. Now the idea here is let's go ahead and try and get our pattern exactly where we want it. Okay, for some reason this is looking off to me. So I am gonna use string uh, to find the center. Now, this with this particular pattern, it's easy for me to find the center because Here's the center of the circle, and this is the middle circle. So I'm gonna go by this dot. I'm gonna find the most, and my table is oval. So I'm gonna find the approximate center location of that, center location of the crest on this side. Okay, so there's that, and now I'm gonna go ahead and, and this should be my center right here. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was a little off. It's pretty darn close right there. And that actually looks really good right there, so I'm not too worried about that. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Okay, now that we have the smooth side down. Now the smooth side is the side that we took the uh, the clear plastic film off, and that's the side that will be touching your glass. And I got this situated where I want it. We're going to go ahead and spray the top of this now, so we can do some smoothing. This one, we're, we're going to use our credit card or Panera card or something, something that's flexible and try to get all the air bubbles out. Got a bubbly feel to it but I think that's just my decorative film here to give it that stained glass look all right because I don't really see any air bubbles even though it kind of looks like it look like looks like it but it's not okay so at this point what we want to do now you can do this with the your glass still inside of your table like I did here or you can uh, take it out uh, at this point now uh, we are ready to cut the excess film and to make that easier I am going to take the glass out a little bit here now this glass is kind of heavy I'm going to take it out and just turn it a little bit just so that it's up and out of the, the frame and what I did my exacto knife. Okay, so with our exacto knife, now we're just gonna cut around the glass and get rid of the excess. Oh, that is pretty cute. That's pretty cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, then at this point, I'll just flip the flip this over because you, you don't want to have the film side on top of your table uh, for wear and tear purposes. So we're going to flip this over. Ugh. And like I said, this thing's heavy. How cool is this? I'm in, I'm just loving it. It's like a brand new table. You know, just using that clear film, flipping the table over uh, so it's on the bottom side. It it's, still needs to dry a little bit underneath, but when it dries, it'll be stuck on there pretty good. So, uh, oh, going back to the beginning of the video, uh, when I said uh, it can get complex, what I meant by that is if you have a table, whether it's a wood table, metal table, plastic, whatever material it, material it is, if you don't like the color of your table, get out the spray paint. Get a can of spray paint and spray the different uh, uh, your uh, table a different color. Find a film that you just 
absolutely can't live without. And you've got a whole new table. How cool is that? Here's my puppy, Sedona and Oscar, my little troublemakers. But anyways, I wanted to thank you for watching Flippin' Awesome. Again, my name is Mindy XYZ, and I would appreciate it if you enjoyed today's video to subscribe down below. I have a lot more coming. So enjoy your day, week, weekend, whatever it may be, and I'll see you soon.